Tonight, what I need to do is make some precision bushings for the barbell that I have just um, heat treated and blackened. Here we have a piece of 4140. Doesn't look very pretty at the moment, but that's because it's just a piece of stock. Once I've machined it on literally every surface, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful, shiny, and pristine. Okay, so here I'm swapping to my boring bar. It's a solid carbide boring bar. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go ahead and bore this to 35 on the dot. And that will be our new zero point. Okay, so we're currently at 32.2 on the dot. That should be slightly less than 35. Okay, that is 34 point, yeah, 34.9. The cool thing about this setup is that I can actually turn the outside with the boring bar as well. So I'll show you. If I put the lathe in reverse, find where zero is. There we go. Then, so this stock's above 50, so I'll take off two and a half mil. Okay, zero this. Fifty one point five eight. This needs to be forty two. So we need to take off nine point something. So I'll will just take off eight, and then I'll do another measurement. And I'll just double check that this inside is indeed thirty five. That's point nine eight. So thirty four point nine eight. Once I hit that with the sandpaper, that'll land right on thirty five. Okay. So let's take eight mils off the outside. I'll just measure this now. It's got quite a bit of heat in it, so it's actually going to shrink a bit. So I'm gonna cool it down first. The reason I'm not cooling it down with coolant while I'm machining is because at 800 RPM, coolant will go absolutely everywhere and I don't want to be covered in coolant. So I'd rather use compressed air, send the chips flying, get you know just a little bit of coolness into it with the compressed air, and then once it gets too hot and or when I need to do precision measurements, cool it down, then measure, then take the final cut. Now it's nice and cold. And the reason I didn't go all the way here is because we only need two bushings from here at this 42 mil OD. Then we need to go up to 45 for the inner bushings of the sleeve. Okay, so we've got 43.58. So we need to take off 1.58. Okay, so that's zero. Take off 1.58. We'll leave a tiny bit left for the final pass and then we'll finish it off with a belt sander to make sure it's absolutely pristine. Okay, so that's still pretty cool, 42.15. So I'll need to take off an additional 0.15 mil. That right there is zero. Now this should be ever so slightly above 42. So we're 42.049. So once we hit that with the belt sander, it'll come up absolutely just beautiful and it will be spot on where we need it to be. Put down the apron to protect the ways. Let's cool this off. How good is that? Do you guys see that? 42.003, that's pretty good. Now we can part this off into two separate bushings. All right, so now it's time to cut these into two 
20 mil bushings. Okay, so that's just touching. So we'll zero that, dial across two mil, since that's how wide our insert is. Zero that, dial across 20 mil, since that's how wide we want our bushing to be. Then we will get a, I'm going to use a punch. Then, I apologize for your ears if that screeching was very bad. So now I will clean up this edge again so it's nice and chamfered and whatnot. Then we'll part the second one off. Chamfer the inside. Okay. Now we can cut another 20 mil. 20. There are my two precision bushings. I'll put these back in the lathe now, chamfer these sharp edges so they're all beautiful, and then these two bushings will be ready to go into the barbell. Um, before I put those in the lathe to chamfer them though, I'm going to, I'm going to cut the two bigger bushings for the other side of the sleeve. 30, 60, 60. Oh, I thought I might get away with smacking it to get it spinning true. I think I'll have to rotate it a bit. It's because this surface isn't nice and pristine, so I've got to find a good spot for it so that it spins true with true enough with how it was before. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, back to our solid carbide boring bar. Since we know that this here is 42 on the dot, okay, so that's 42 on the dot and it needs to be 45. So we'll come out three mil, zero that. I'm gonna do a few passes to bring it down first, so. Okay, so we got 45.025. Now the inside we got 45.305. So that's pretty freaking good. Oh, actually, no. It's supposed to be 0.35 in the middle, not 0.3. So I'll just do another pass to take off that little smidge extra. There's a tiny bit of heat in here, 45.01. It's on the dot in there, so I'll just do a little bit more on this side and then it'll be good. 45.004, 45.002. So that is pristine on the dot. 35.353, so pretty damn good. We'll go ahead and part that off now. And there we go. Two more precision bushings ready to chamfer on this side, and they'll also be ready to go in the bar. Okay, so now to chamfer these edges, put it back in the chuck here. And I'm not gonna be gripping it too tightly because I don't wanna damage the surface. Not that it actually makes too much of a difference since the outer surface, it doesn't actually need to be pristine and beautiful and whatnot, since it's just going in the sleeve. It's the inside surface that is the one that actually matters. I still like to make sure that there's no, there's no reason to damage your work when you don't need to. Okay, one down, three to go.
There we go. Final precision bushing. There you have it. Four precision bushings ready to go in a Pinnacle Series squat bar.